Welcome to Crocodile MTG, your home of competitive, constructed play in the modern, standard, and legacy formats. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the Crocodile MTG channel, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Alright, what do we want to do now? Do we want to play in a pre-release? We could do some constructed, I guess. What happens if I search mill? Nothing. Target opponent. Put the top. All right, target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. So we just want to go kind of like mono blue mill you out. Is that a thing we can do? Petitioner seems fine. I don't know if we actually want Petitioner though. I don't think we want Petitioner. We want Drowned Secrets for sure. Can't attack unless, okay, this is gonna be a great card in that deck. That's gonna be also good. This is also gonna be good. Uh, look at the top four cards of the library, put one on them, yep. This controller puts the top three. Didn't say please. Counter circuit, top set put three. What? Thought he claps and didn't say please is the same exact card. Where did my deck total go? Select format, standard. Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, why is my deck total not there? All right, this is definitely gonna be like a 20, 20 land deck. And we wanna be mono blue. Uh, I think Witching Well's probably pretty good. Oh, Apprentice is really good. Each opponent. Puts the Okay, let me re-look at this to make sure. Yeah, Jace is probably good in this deck. Oh, Ashiok's really good. Let's keep Ashiok. Let's take out a couple Jaces. We probably don't actually need Jace. Yeah, let's just mill our opponent out. Oh, cancel. Oops. We need... I guess one of these. Mono blue mill. Yeah, let's just play out mono blue mill and see. And see who we get paired against. Our opponents are probably playing like actual decks and we're just playing like mono blue mill. Who's gonna be the sorry sucker running into our mono blue mill deck? Um. Yeah, I think we probably have faster hands than this. Yeah, this is probably fine. All right, we'll put that down there. We'll play Mystic Sanctuary and put it down our opponent's also gonna play our opponent's gonna play temple um so we're gonna play drowned secrets here all right we'll see what our opponent's gonna play here another temple of mystery that's perfectly fine please put it on top i would love to mill you I feel like our opponent's gonna play something powerful next turn. Maybe not. Maybe it's fine to just uh, go ahead and make our opponent mill. What is our opponent playing? 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and make our opponent mill six. These adventure cards are actually really good. Our opponent's just conceding? That's no fun. Is Mill just really busted? There's no way Mill's busted. I want to actually play that out. Like, I think Mill is actually a decent budget deck right now in standard. It's unfortunate when our opponent just concedes just to concede. Uh, I don't know. It, it's... Alright, this is... First of all, thank you Wizards of the Coast for having us here. We appreciate being part of your early access event. But this is the early access event, content creators. You need to play decks and you need to just play them out. Just have fun. Like Magic the Gathering is all about the fun you're having. And no one seems to be, like, interested in having fun right now. I'm going to keep this because I have Witching Well. We're, we're against the same guy. Oh, he's going to hate us. I'm only... Look at this guy. If you're going to play Constructed, play the games out. Look, I'm not trying to sound salty, but I'm trying to make content here. And I can't make content if you're just going to concede. The point of the early access event is to have early access to the cards, to see if decks are viable or not, to play them out, and to have fun. It's not my fault this guy is being paired against me. Okay, this is someone else, so hopefully... We can actually play a game. I would like to actually see if this deck is viable, viable, and I don't want to just be miserable the whole time trying to play it. So, Mixer, TK, welcome to Crocodile MTG. And we hope you don't concede. What is with all these temple mysteries? These people are just going nuts. I love content creation, and I would love it if people just play the cards that they enjoy playing. Alright, here's a Fable Passage. It's actually really pretty sound it makes. I don't, I don't know if it's the background. I like this background. Oh my god, look at this dog. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and play... I guess we play Narset. I have no idea what our opponent's playing. Oh wow, that was the biggest whiff in the world. I actually wish I knew... Was that a Merfolk Secret Keeper that we, that we milled? Alright, there's an Ashiok. That's really good. All right, we're gonna aggro mill our opponent. Dream big tonight. I'm hungry. All right, what is our opponent's deck like? Is it like five color giants or something, or five color board wipes? Interesting. I think our opponent just loses, though, if we're being honest. They can't draw additional cards. Oh, happily ever after. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are five or more colors among permanents you control, and there are six or more lands among permanents you control, and or in your graveyard... Wait, if there's six or more card types among permanents you control, and or cards in your graveyard, your life total is greater than your starting life total. You win the game. Well, I got news for you. You got 33 cards left in your deck. I might mill you out.
That's funny, because they didn't get to draw their card. Alright, how many more cards are in their deck? Alright, I think I'm going to leave Thought Collapse here. And then I think I can mill them for four. Oh, that's funny. Fable Passage gets shut off by by Ashiok. All right, here's Temple of Mystery. I mean, I'm gonna mill him for five. All right, I think we got it. Yeah, that was an actual aggro mill plan. So Happily Ever After is the card to watch here. That card, something else, I'm telling you. People are playing Happily Ever After and uh, they seem to be winning quite a bit with it. I think Ashiok might have actually helped us a little bit with that. Here's Waldo MTG. All right, again, we ended up with this mystery in our hand. All right, I'm gonna keep this. Um, this one's a little slow, but hopefully we get there. Aggro mill is a legitimate strategy, so. All right, here's Fable Passage. We're probably playing against, I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at all these drowned secrets. I don't think our opponent has a chance, unless they're like, aggro. Maybe. I mean, maybe people are playing... Okay, maybe Mono Red. Our opponent has a chance here. Alright, Steam Vents. Oh, this could be... Uh, this could be Phoenix. Oh, no, it's going to be a Reanimator. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with another Drown Catacombs. Yeah, our opponent's going to be super aggressive towards us, but I'm really hoping we can get this mill off. Draw a card, discard a card. Okay. Oh, Thought Erasure. Well, if we draw a land, we can at least play Drown Catacombs, and then we can play Apprentice. I think they really want to take the Merfolk Secret Keeper here. More than anything. Like, what do you take against Mill? Like, Mill is, like, not on anybody's radar. What? They take the Apprentice? Wow. Is it because we scry to? I mean, I think our opponent just loses next turn. If we draw land, we play, uh... Merfolk Secret Keeper. Oh, well, we play the, uh... We play the Venture Deeper. Then we play the Secret Keeper. Then we play Witching Well. And that's... 9... 18... Okay, it, it's not completely lethal yet, but it's getting close. Is the greatest virtue. Aye, with the knowledge to direct. I'm excited for this new standard. This... This Grixis, uh, Grixis Reanimator deck's pretty... Oh my gosh. <sighs> Alright, we'll just take all our Drowned Secret Keepers. Alright, they have to have a reanimation spell in their, their deck. But even if they reanimate this turn, we're milling them for... 8 cards per spell cast. Oh, this might be the what we needed. They didn't have the quest of mystery. All right, they're drawing and discarding. I think they lose here. Oh man, we didn't draw a land. All right, I'm gonna try and scry two first.
There's no lands. View battlefield. How many? They have 21. So we have 8. Okay. Alright, that can be on top. Oh! Oh, we hit all their reanimation! I think we hit most of their reanimation targets. They have eight cards left in the library, and I milled all their bonds. Okay, they get to return a creature. Do they have a creature that can just deal 19 points of damage? First strike and trample, but not haste. Bravery galvanizes any plan. And we win because we have Wall of Lost Dreams. Just anything here. So even Vantress Gargoyle kills our opponent. Oh my goodness. Aggro Mill for the win. Oh, I'm telling you, I think Mill might actually be good. Like, that was off two lands. Mind you, we had four of our Drowner of Secrets, but oh my goodness. All right, let's put some fancy... Let's go to the Mastery... Or, not Mastery, let's go to the store. We gotta put some fancy sleeves on here or something. We gotta... We gotta... We gotta fancy up our our stuff. Let let's get Lavinia or Lazav. I mean, the wrong information could get you killed. Let's what? let's grab some pretty sleeves. What what are some pretty sleeves? Simic. Ah, oh, we can't use the Liliana sleeves. Card styles. Ah, oh, they don't really have any sleeves. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go to our deck here. Mono Blue Mill. Here's the list if anyone's looking for it. Mono Blue Mill, 20 lands. Very basic. Beating up on just wild, <laughs> wild decks. Um, yeah, 16 creatures, 8 artifacts, 8 instants, 4 enchantments, 8 planeswalkers, and 20 lands. Aggro out our opponent and just win the game. I wonder if I should be playing, like, one or two castles. Probably not, actually. I just don't think we'd be... I mean, it doesn't hurt to play them. Because they're not legendary. <laughs> Alright, we're... I mean... Phew. We're going wild here. Thank you so much, Wizards of the Coast, uh, for sponsoring us and letting us be part of the early access event on MTG Arena. Throne of Eldraine standard is going to be wild, and I'm honestly pretty excited about it. If Mill is good enough to play in standard, imagine just ranking up on the ladder with Mill. Oh, I forgot to change our, uh, our character here. We're just aggroing on... Uh... Alright, we're going to start with... I don't really want to start with a Witching Well, because I want to play him after the Drown Cat or er, Drown Secrets. I guess we can start with a Witching Well now, because we have the Merfolk Secret Keeper. Alright, we're gonna put that on bottom. We don't mind the Drown Secrets. We're against Bear Taffy. I'm not sure who that content creator is, but I'm sure you should go check them out. All MTG con uh, content creators are good people. I should say most content creators are good people. Um, I ran into a few that were having bad days. It's not their fault, but you know, we all have our bad days. What 
If you do, otherwise create three food tokens. Okay, foods matters. That's what we're playing against, it seems. Uh, well, you're playing against aggro mill, so take take all your mill. Uh, we're gonna play a witching well here. We want to find as many aggressive. Sacrifice three foods. Return from the graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this only your turn. Okay, that's that's good. I don't think we want either of these. Hi, puppy. My dog is behind me. Looking in. Yeah, so sacrifice three. Make a troll. We just gotta find a way to kill our opponent before our opponent kills us. They're going to draw two cards and lose two life and make a food. So what is this? salt -eye food? That's what it seems to be. Oh, Gilded Goose. There we go. There's another food token. Alright, how much damage can I do to them? So 4, 8, 16. Hi, oh, buddy. I think I'm gonna play Gargoyle this turn because yeah it doesn't hurt to play Gargoyle here it's a 5-4 that can start attacking and putting pressure on our opponent we don't want our opponent to just completely get the run away with the game I think we milled all their Okos which might be a good thing one two three so they have a fourth one somewhere probably unless they only wanted three all right so we got a five four that can block and attack oh there's their other oko i was gonna say i was like i thought they probably had four surely they're making a three three food dude what is up with you my dog is going ham What's up, ham sandwich? Alright, so our opponent still has two mana to work with here. Enters the battlefield, create a food. Whenever it... Why, why couldn't I block? Can't block unless you have four or more cards in hand. That's interesting. All right, 29. So 4, 8, 8 is 16. That's not enough. So I can draw two with Witching Well. Actually, I probably just want to take or attack Oko here, right? Do I... I don't lose if I attack Oko. So, Oko down. May we meet again. Or not. Cancel. I want to cast... I want to cast Secret Keeper. Um, because I want to be able to block the Elk. Alright. Alright. Oh, and Secret Keeper's a 0-4. For some reason, I thought it was a 1-1 flyer. But no, it's a 0-4. It's a so if they're not able to deal with my Secret Keeper, then I can probably just... I might be able to win next turn. They have 24 cards in Library. We have a Thought Collapse. Yeah, Destroy Target Creature. So we're going to Thought Collapse them. We're going to mill them for four, and then mill them again for seven. Yeah, they're getting pretty low. There's another uh, 
There's another troll king. So I have to do, I do have to be wary of that. Whenever you sacrifice food, you may pay. All right, there's a gingerbread. It's a creature elk. It's no longer a food. I mean, I'm gonna take seven here. I th I mean, this is really close. This is a close game. I don't know if that's gonna do it. So let's see, I can mill them. I can mill them for eight. Man, I'm just like one card off of actually like winning this. They have nine cards left in library. Oh, they just conceded? Okay, I... I didn't have the actual win that turn, I had... I had enough to block though and survive another turn. What I was gonna do was draw cards off of uh, off of one of the witching wells, and then once we drew off witching well, I was gonna um, I was gonna probably mill them for game the turn after. But I think they just saw that they didn't have enough for lethal, and that was enough to for me to go ahead and get the game. <laughs> I'm surprised. All right, Witching Well, Drown. Okay, this hand's actually pretty good. So I'm going to tell my opponent hello. I'm going to lead on a Witching Well, because I want to hit my land drops. And I want our opponent to mill themselves out. I don't think I want either of these. Unless, of course, we're against Mono Red, which I would want all of those. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drown secrets. Our opponent here is playing, I don't know what they're playing. They could be playing the reanimator deck. No, they're playing adventure it looks like. Okay, they're playing like a green Black. They're playing a Jund Adventure. Each opponent puts two cards in their graveyard. Oh, they're with Garouk. Okay. Is that... That's not an island. I don't have any instants or sorceries in my graveyard. Alright, I'll put both of these on bottom. Deals two damage. Aw, oh, man, you just stomped me, man! Don't be stomping me like that, man! You be stomping me like it. That'd be hurting my feelings, man. It, is it whenever you or. Okay, whenever Bone Crusher. Okay. So I can kind of aggro mill here. I really want to get this, like, Ashiok down, though. Yeah, I guess I can get Ashiok down now. They're going to kill it, unfortunately. Oh, what I should have done was Merfolk Secrets. Okay. I see what I should have done. I should have cast Merfolk Secrets targeting our opponent, cast the Secrets, and then played Vantress, but... Alright, this is a neat little deck. Lucky Clover, whenever you cast an adventure... Yeah, that's actually a pretty good card. I can see it. Alright, our opponent's at 33. They have to decide if they're going after Ashiok, which I'm assuming is a, probably a dead yeah. Or if they're going against uh, after us. But I'm playing Vantress next turn. Alright. So, they yeah, they probably hit Ashiok. Yeah. 
All right, there's an Overwhelmed Apprentice. All right, so I'm just going to play the more aggressive uh, role here. Miller as much as our opponent's stuff as I can. Scry 2. Ooh, that's a really good one. All right, let me, let me actually calculate this. So 8, 12. Yeah, Ashiok's actually probably game. I say probably because I'm like 80% sure I'm I'm good at my math, but maybe I'm not. Yeah, I think I think I'm good cuz they draw a card per turn. Putting him down to 14. I cast Ashiok. I mill 8. I guess I'm I'm a little short. But I have blockers then to protect Ashiok for the turn after. Does this have Death Touch? No, it has Lifelink. That's fine. Really gonna make them fight? I mean, that's fine if they do. Again, I want to just protect the Ashiok from one of these attacks. Oh, they didn't even. Oh, this is the wrong Domri. My bad. Destroy target artifact. That's fine. You can witching well me. Ashiok's what I have to protect here. And now that I protected my Ashiok, I think I'm fine. I think I just win this. There's no need to attack. <laughs> I was like, do I attack? Oh, they're going to be at four. Okay. So do we actually have a game here? Unless they minus Domri. Which I can't imagine they would. Oh, no, because I, I just drowned secrets. Okay, never mind. If they can't kill Ashiok here, I think I just win. You should quit before you get your teeth kicked in. Okay, they're gonna cast it with Riot. Okay, Ashiok's down. They have five cards left. I have to draw one drop. Any one drop wins me at right here. Oh, it's Narset. We, they went down the one card though. Okay, they couldn't. They couldn't win. I guess. All right, fair enough. Agro Mill winning, winning again. Are we currently undefeated against decks we're testing against? <laughs> new deck and uh, new deck and standard. Everybody, watch out. Mono blue mill. Just a crazy good performance on Mono Blue Mill. Thank you so much, Wizards of the Coast, for inviting us to be part of your early access event on MTG Arena. We appreciate it so much here at Crocodile MTG. I know our viewers appreciate it. We get early access to all these awesome new items all over, and I'm just I'm having a great time. I am super excited. We played some sealed, which was fun. We're testing constructed with this undefeated mono blue mill deck. That's just crazy. Aggro mill just being a thing. I. All right, let's see here. I think this is a mulligan. Okay, we have drowner of secrets. We said we have, didn't say please. Yeah, I think. I think this is good enough to keep. Maybe it just didn't say please? Yeah, I think it is. So we're gonna start with the the Mystic Sanctuary. All right, really cool interaction here with the Mystic Sanctuary. It's an island as its land type. So two things, one, it can be fetchable if you're playing like an internal format. Two, it counts with the castle. 
you can because this enters the battlefield tapped unless you control an island. Well, Mystic makes it so you can uh, you can play it out. All right, I really hope they don't have like a Shalai. No, Shalai was Dominaria. They don't have a Shalai. All right, let's get this uh, let's get this party started. All right, there goes a group. Oh my goodness, what are they playing? Garuk, Othakaya. What else do they got? Amari. Alright, so they're kind of playing like an, a, a little bit of an aggressive deck. Haste! What is this? Don't attack me with this. Oh my gosh! That's a really good card. That makes me sad. Why do you do this to me? Alright, I'm going to start with a uh, Narset here. Alright, it doesn't have Death Touch. I know 88 ways to keep an open mind. Sorry about that, that's my dog behind me. Alright, if they have a removal spell here, that's sad, but... Alright, there's another Ashiok. I don't think I want the Mystic. I'll take the Ashiok. I'm fine with that. Questing Beast is going to come in and hit me again. Our opponent has 37 cards left in their deck. Oh no! Oh no! Don't be able to do crazy stuff right now. Because... Yeah, don't don't be able to do that. Because I want to play my Ashiok next turn and set, uh, get, rid of your, get rid of your graveyard. Okay, they're exiling two cards from the graveyard. They're going to get to play Amari. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Play it out. What? Why can't I block this? I can't be blocked by creatures of power 2 or... Oh, that's... That's just rude. Nightmares are the palace. All right, I just got to power through here. We might pick up our first loss here. They have 31 cards left in the library still. This Questing Beast is a really good card. Combat damage is dealt. That would be dealt to creatures you control. It can't be prevented. It deals combat damage to an opponent. It deals that much damage to a target planeswalker that player controls man they're just aggroing off here i guess i just block here yeah i think i lost here i can't do anything we're picking up our first loss you will be haunted by this tool. all right we don't have any board wipes here so that's gonna be it through feud or feast. And that's all for us. Fine. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Yep. I think this is the most I can do is off of this Narset. Mind and body yeah, we don't got a fog effect. Aw, oh, man. Alright, that's going to be everything. <laughs> All right, it's approaching 10 o'clock now, so thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I appreciate every single one of you. Our night has come to a close. We streamed for almost five hours. And all I gotta say is thank you for being great. I appreciate each and every one of you. Throne of Eldraine looks like a fantastic set. I'm super excited to be playing more of it, uh, more constructed, more limited, more sealed, Good luck up to all of you if you're playing in a pre-release this weekend. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. For your custom play mats, mouse pads, and more, head over to Inked Gaming. Use promo code CROCODILEMTG10 to receive 10% off your order. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons.